Hi, I'm Neil from ABM International, and today I'd like to talk about the AccuStitch system. If you've recently purchased an AccuStitch, the next thing you need to do is make sure you have the correct hopping foot for the job. So when you're uh, changing your machine over, you've gotten your AccuStitch completely installed, you'll need to change your foot. Your factory brother, Juki, Janome, different models of machines will have come with what they call a free motion foot. This free motion foot is a spring-loaded foot, but it doesn't have a height adjustment screw on it. So the problem is that it actually hops on the machine, and every time it hops on the machine, it creates stiction on the fabric, preventing you from moving it. Each time you, you stop moving the fabric, it creates a delay. The sensors pick up that delay, and you lose your stitch regulation control. When you're actually stitch regulating on a machine, you want the fabric free floating under the foot, and so you want a foot that will glide above the fabric. So this is an aftermarket hopping foot, and it has a real nifty adjustment screw here so that you can adjust the height of the foot. And I'm gonna show you all just how to do that. So I'm installing the factory hopping foot. And as you can see here, the foot actually bounces on the plate. It's touching the needle plate. So I will demonstrate how poorly it regulates with the factory style free motion foot. That's an example of how difficult it is to move the fabric when the foot is constantly pressing on the fabric. You see the foot is pressing so hard I can't even move the fabric. Now I'll switch to the aftermarket foot that has an adjustable height adjustment screw. There we go. Now when I drop the foot down, you see the foot is also resting on the bed of the machine. I won't be able to fit my quilt underneath. So I will set, I will adjust this screw right here, which slowly, as you can see, raises the foot, and I'll set it so it's above a nickel. Now if I'm using a much thinner batting, I might set it on a dime but I want the foot just barely gliding over the fabric so that it doesn't create any stiction on the fabric but allows the fabric to move freely without bouncing underneath the foot. Now lower your presser foot bar. I can move my fabric freely and it glides freely under the foot. And if you want to do some good practice work when you first start out and you're trying to get the motion control under memory, it's nice to use a ruler on your ruler, free motion ruler foot. So as you can see, it's regulating beautifully with the correct foot on the machine.
you need help finding the correct adjustable aftermarket foot for your sewing machine brand, please contact your local sewing back dealer that sells AccuStitch.